I never know what to do with my hands when I'm around a live <laughs> Curtis, hive. You are in the middle of a hive right now. Yeah. Like, all these bees are swarming you. And How are you Mike, feeling? Mike here, Mike here from Bee Friends Farm. Uh, Brentley, you guys both are with Bee Friends Farm, and yep. that's who's putting on the Honey Bee Festival, right? Yeah. And when, so, talk to me about. Uh, Will people get to experience this at the Honey Bee Festival? So they will, except it'll be a little safer. There won't actually be any live bees hanging out about. Nice. Um, we will have some observation hives, but there's going to be <gasps> some really cool. Who's that? Is that the queen? That's a drone. Oh. So the That's drone, okay. the drones are a little bit larger than the um, than the female workers, which the rest of the hive, except for the drones, are female. Nice. Um, but sometimes you, they get a little fake out for you. Always the women doing all the work. Yeah. Oh my God, this is so cool. Is it is it weird that I can feel the energy from all these bees? Not right at all. Now? They're actually quite loud too when you're when you open a hive. You can definitely hear them buzzing around. So details of the Honey Bee Festival, it's Saturday the 18th. Yes, it's gonna be um, on National Honey Bee Day. We actually chose that day for a reason. It's inside at the fairground, so there's AC, which is obviously a big deal right now. Oh, it's inside at the fairground. Yeah. Nice. Um, the only thing that's outside is we're gonna have a fake staging yard with no bees, so safety again. Um, but then outside there'll be a Be A Kid Zone hosted by Honey Bee A Keeper, another local Be beekeeper. A Kid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Get it. With Whoa. Be A Keeper. <laughs> You got uh, it? Yeah, I dropped. I, I slipped a little, but I'm okay. That's okay. The bees will fly right back up. I think if I drop it, they'd kind of get upset, huh? No, no, it'd be all right. It'd be fine. Um, but all kinds of stuff to do at, at the Honey Bee Festival. Yeah. And, and for Bee Friends Farm, and I know you guys are putting it on, but mm -hmm. and there's a, a lot of local uh, local apiaries. Ven venues, mm -hmm. vendors and stuff. Vendors. Like that, yeah. Um, yeah. But talk about why, I mean, we, you hear it all the time, if the bees go away, humans go away. Talk about why it's important to keep, keep raising awareness. So the whole focus of this education festival is education. Like that was really big for Bee Friends Farm when we were putting it on. And so we've coordinated with like the Jack's Beekeeping Association, Nassau County, Clay County. We really want people to come out, learn and go to a backyard beekeeping session, come out and maybe buy your suit and maybe a smoker and, and know you're gonna do this yeah. in the spring with your own hive and kind of help the bee population that way. We also have a session planting with pollinators with Tim from Eat Your Yard Jacks. Yes, so even if I you're love not, Tim. I know, isn't he great? Yes. So if you're not ready to have your own hive, there are still things that you can do like planting things with pollinators or doing little like bee um, beehive things in your in your backyard. Just to attract and, and give exactly. them a better environment. Yes. This is good stuff uh, because uh, Bee Friends Bee Friends Farm, you guys have a bunch of different honeys and one of the things I learned uh, from, from following you guys and hearing about, you guys lease your bees out sometimes to farmers across the country, right? Yeah, I'll let Mike take this one. So yeah, we, these bees here you, we're in right now today are on movable pallets and we'll load them on trucks and send them as far as California for the almond pollination in the Central Valley. Because almonds cannot happen without bees. Without these bees <laughs> right here going out and pollinating the individual blooms, they will not produce an almond. So, so cool. Really and important. then here's the added bonus for us back home, back here in Jacksonville. When the bees return home, we get a bunch of almond honey. We do get some almond honey. Mm -hmm. It's uh, uh, honeys are each to their own, so the flavor <laughs> and the color comes from the flower. And almond honey has a bitter after note, so mm -hmm. it's not always desirable. But it, it's some people may enjoy it. I Wonder love I love the fact that there's so many uh, honey is becoming like wine. There's so many True. different flavors and palettes and all kinds of stuff you guys are playing with. Which exactly, is really cool. the varietal honeys are very exciting because of the different uh, florals and the flavors. Um, what? He's I, making us look bad because he's like in no gear. I know. Well, he's the, he's the expert the same time, here. The queen has been sitting here laying eggs. No way. The that's the time. queen. Yeah, right here. See her? Oh, I see it. She's the longer one, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, that's the queen right there. Very nice queen. Hello, Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> it you is. can see her attendants working around her. I appreciate you allowing us to be here. Is, it, uh, is there ever like Game of Thrones out here, where the like the one queen comes over and then you know like? Yes, it can happen. Really? Absolutely. Yes. So there's a queen in each one of these. Each box has a each hive has a uh, an individual queen. So tell me which one. Th so what consists of one hive? This is what we're looking at right here. This is one colony of bees. Just that box this and the box on top. Box and this one box here. This is another colony, another colony, and another colony here. So good. This is, see, that's so cool though. Four queens living all near each other. Good stuff. Honey Bee Festival on uh, Saturday the 18th at the fairgrounds. Mm -hmm. Check it out. I'm gonna get some honey. Oh, give, me, give me a little kiss, queen. <laughs> I wanna be the king of the, uh, there's no kings, are there? No. Only queens in there. Good stuff, yeah, the Honey Bee Festival. Check it out uh, it's over tomorrow. It's at the Jacks Jacksonville Fairgrounds, so right free across event. The street.